All right, select Mr. Fans. It's time for Emmanuel and the Last Cannibals. Let's check it out. Our movie starts with a nurse stumbling out of a room with her breast bitten off. There's the guilty culprit. Emmanuel's inside this mental hospital where this happened. She's actually an undercover reporter. She's got a camera hidden in the doll's eyes. In an unexplained scene, she sneaks into the cannibal's room and lifts up her skirt and feels her up. Can't show it to you. Her real life husband, Gabrielle Tinti, plays a professor. I also have some very interesting films on it. He's got, he's an expert on cannibalism. I sound like one of those guys who says, come and see my etchings, but I do have that documentation. I'd like to make you an offer, an expedition to the Amazon, led by you and fully subsidized by my paper, of course. She goes to his apartment and he shows her some pretty see, vile this is a film. This of ritual cannibalism. I think a romance is sparking. You are fascinating, Manuela. But rest assured, I don't intend to fall in love with you. Maybe he won't fall in love, but he has no problem making love next to the Harlem River. You see down there? So anyway, they're off to the Amazon now. That village, its people have an eternal fight for survival. Really? Sure it was actually do? filmed in yeah. Italy, not far from Rome. That girl has a tattoo above her pubic breeches, which seems to be the tribal symbol of the Atyaka. <laughs> That's impossible. The Atyakas have been extinct for over 50 years. That's Isabel and a nun. They're going to join them on their quest. Later on, Isabel's going to uh, enjoy herself while she's spying on Emmanuel and the professor. You'll have to take my word on that, of course. Bye. So anyway, they're off. Emmanuel gets attacked by a snake. Don't shoot it, too dangerous. Meet the hunter. He joins him too. We're on our way to Father Morales' mission. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but there's no more mission. They were attacked by some savages. We got there shortly after it happened. And as they make camp, it appears someone is stalking them. Got some peeping Tom stuff going on, and of course their bottoms are exposed. Later on, this guy's body is found. The cannibals they thought were extinct apparently are not. Taking the boat. There can't have been many. Look, it's a Bible. A Bible? And then they're gonna find this. Later on, it turns out that our hunter is a pervert, and he's gonna start peeling this woman up while she's sleeping, get his hands up in there and in her business. Cannibals are now eating. This is what our hunter was really after. We've made it. We've made it, Maggie. We're rich now. Then the cannibals attack. Mackenzie. Now those savages have taken them and my Maggie. Ah, oh, forget about the diamonds. The Atikas village is sure to be on that island. If Maggie's still alive, they won't sacrifice her until dawn. Because they believe that their gods in the dark of night can't find their victim's soul. They're in trouble now. This guy gets cut in two, or sliced in two, basically. 
clever camera angle here. The other girl is laid out naked on an altar I can't show yet. The tribesmen take turns with her. Manuel has a plan. She's got naked and has painted herself up to look like this goddess who's going to come out of their out of the water and she's going to try to fool them and rescue her. Once they realize the ruse, can they get away in time? They can and they will. After one last scare, that is. All right, Schlockmaster fans, this will be my first review knowing that I am COVID positive. How about that, huh? A couple days ago, I tested positive. My first review since then, so let's check it. Actually, it's the first review that I've known since then. I actually reviewed Macabre, not knowing I was sick. But anyway, I mean, I knew I was sick. I just didn't know I had COVID, but I regress. Fuck COVID. Emmanuel and the Last Cannibals. So this isn't a movie that I have. This is a movie I taped off a of cable Probably 1993 or so. I think I taped it off of Joe Bob uh, Movie Channel uh, on his uh, drive-in theater. It was called Emmanuel's Amazon Adventure at that time. Um, this movie, this is like the uncut version of it, though. What they showed on the Movie Channel, they was uh, they couldn't show all the scenes. Uh, put it that way. So this one's kind of dirty too. Now the plot of this movie is starts off in this mental hospital where uh, Emmanuel is undercover. She's a uh, um, undercover reporter and she has this doll which has a camera in its eyes so she takes pictures inside this mental ward and this woman comes rushing out this nurse and her blouse is open and her right tit is gone it's just it's bleeding all over the place turns out this crazy woman bit off her breast and is eating it um, and uh, so they grab the woman they tie her down Emmanuel sneaks into her room later on she's you know strapped down and then she does an odd thing. The woman's in this very flimsy dress. She lifts up the woman's dress, exposing her bottom. And then she starts, like, I don't know, she didn't finger her. She didn't put anything inside of her. But she was rubbing her vagina. Um, I don't know what the hell that was all about. But she did that. And then later on, we see she had this, like, mark on her, just above her, like, pubic hair some sort of like uh, uh, tattoo or something like that and she recognized it as being something cannibal related to some tribe in South America somewhere so she goes back to her boss and and says this and that whatever they decide they're gonna send her uh, with this professor played by Gabrielle Tinti her real life husband at the time to go down to South America and uh, they're gonna try to see if this tribe exists which allegedly is extinct they end up hooking up with a couple other people on the way down. Uh, Gabriel Tinti, or he's the professor, he and Emmanuel end up having sex a couple times, like outside by the Harlem River, um, also in bed later on. And they pick up a couple other lovely ladies, including a nun, and uh, they go down to South America, and they're basically searching, and it turns out they're being stalked, because uh, there are cannibals there. A few dead bodies show up. Um, they run into this hunter who turns out to be a pervert. Apparently, he, he's totally okay with uh, taking this lovely sleeping lady and, like, fingering her under her panties and stuff. And, like, I think he was actually fingering her, too. Um, she woke up and, you know, pushed him away. And then he got into a fight. But then, you know, he continued on with them, uh, traveling with them, too. Ah, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, eventually the cannibals show up and they start kidnapping them, taking them, um, and eating them. Uh, and then, like, basically we have two people left, Emmanuel and the professor, and they're watching as, um, one of the group, parties of their group, uh, is taken prisoner, woman, and she's led naked and laid on the ground, and, uh, several people in the tribe take turns with her, uh, I guess they're gonna, like, sacrifice her to their god or whatever, but she has to be pregnant first, so Emmanuel comes up with this plan, she's gonna pretend that she's the, this goddess that they worship, who like lives in the water or something like that. So she gets naked and paints herself up to be this goddess and comes out of the water as they're about to sacrifice this woman, comes down and basically walks away with her while the tribe just stands there gawking like, what the hell? And then as soon as they get in the water, she's like, swim as fast as you can. So then they swim really fast and then uh, 
the professor shows up in the motorboat he has and they're able to get away and that's that's basically how our film ends so anyway um <laughs> for a cannibal movie it is got a manual t twist to it because there's a lot of sex going on in this movie a lot of self-pleasurization and uh a lot of uh, a lot of intercourse obviously none of it's real of course uh, although the self stuff was real um yeah, it's a dirty film. It's a dirty film. Um, there, you can actually see some vaginas in this movie. So, hey, great. Vaginas. Who doesn't like those? So, anyway, that is this. Directed by Joe D'Amato. Um, it says it was filmed in Brazil or, or somewhere in South America. It's a bunch of shit, though. It was actually filmed about 50 miles uh, southeast of Rome in this little lake near the ocean. I looked it up. You can see it. It's plain as day on, like, Google Earth or something. You can notice it. So, but, yeah, that's it. It's actually, you know, not a bad film. It, 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 some, some of the gore scenes are kind of cool. Apparently, all the extras that were used in this movie, who were the tribes people, the cannibals, were actually Filipino uh, tourists to Italy. Uh, they just grabbed him at the airport and said, you want to be in a movie? And they said, yeah. So that's what they did. So anyway, that's Emmanuel and the Last Cannibals, um, also known as Trap Them and Kill Them. I have a pre-recorded VHS of this movie under that title as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's a this is a risque, dirty film. So check it out from Shriek Show. It, it's a good one. Exploitation-wise, can't go wrong. Check it out. Leave some comments. What do you think about Emmanuel and the Last Cannibals? Watch it. Bye.